Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today it's a rainy day out here in Tennessee, but uh, I'm staying dry here in the garage, doing a little bit of, of tackle prep for the next event at Toledo Bend. Uh, and, you know, I recently did a video on the Palmetto Bugs from Z-Man, which is a bait that I use a ton and have caught a ton of fish on uh, in tournaments, you know, usually flipping and pitching, but there's a lot of ways that you can fish it. Um, but I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the modifications that I do often uh, with the palmetto bugs because this is a, a bait that's not only versatile as far as how you can fish it, but it's also versatile how you can modify it because you've got these big uh, wide paddle tails on there or that one paddle tail that's split into two different sections that you can do a lot with actually and so i'm going to show you guys what i like to do uh in different situations uh but first off let's talk about the tail as it is um one of the biggest questions that i get about the palmetto bugs and, and beaver baits in general is do i split the tail um this is actually something that that back in the day when i first started fishing uh beaver style baits uh you know like the palmetto bugs i used to always split the tail I thought that's just what you're supposed to do. I thought that it would give it, you know, more action if it was it was split and it does give it a completely different action. But over time and I, I really owe this to my buddy Casey O'Donnell. So if you haven't checked out his channel, uh, my buddy Casey O'Donnell, who I won the uh, 2011 Boat US Championship Collegiate Bass Championship with. He's got uh, Casey O'Donnell fishing. I, I think it's just Casey O'Donnell is his uh, um, uh, YouTube channel. Go check him out. Uh, he has a great channel. He has a lot of great insight. Um, but uh, he kind of years ago, he's just like, man, you know, because uh, we we're talking about this topic of whether or not to split the tail. And he's like, man, you need to try it without splitting the tail. And I was like, why? And he said, the glide, man, the glide. And he was right, man. It's all about the glide with these baits, in my opinion, uh, under most circumstances. I want a bait that, that has a lot of surface area back here. That's one of the beautiful things about a beaver style bait is that you've got a lot of surface area. So it allows this to plane out and kind of glide on the fall as opposed to just kind of parachute down, you know, fall straight down. And so uh, by, by not splitting the tail, you kind of maintain that surface area and it allows a beaver bait to glide a little bit more. So it has more of a horizontal fall but as soon as you split those tails, this one's, uh, I'm trying to keep this one, you know, in shape because it's a little bit uh, disformed or um, a deformed rather. Yeah, but as soon as you split that tail, it really uh, it takes away a lot of that surface area. It'll kind of fold on the fall and it just doesn't have that same glide. So the answer is, do I split the tail? The answer is sometimes, but, but it's, it's exceedingly rare for me to split the tail nowadays, especially with the palmetto bugs. I really do like to, to keep it intact, not break that little, uh, that little piece of elastic that's keeping these two parts together. That, that's just kind of how I like to fish the palmetto bugs nowadays, because I think it just gives it a great falling action and that's what i'm looking for primarily so uh, that's the first thing that i don't do so it's not really a modification but it's a um it, it's just kind of an approach to fishing it a lot of people modify these these beaver style baits by you know breaking those sections apart and fishing it that way it works great if i'm fishing like a jig you know if i'm fishing the palmetto bugs on the back of a jig or as a trailer uh, a lot of times that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and just split those those two sections because I want them to kind of part and look like claws. I don't want them one single, uh, you know, paddle there. So hopefully that answers your question as far as, uh, you know, whether or not I split the tails. Uh, the next modification that I often will do, okay, so if I'm uh, presented with a situation where, um, you know, I'm... Uh, punching in matted grass, so dense vegetation. Um, you know, the, the traditional palmetto bugs is great. I just fished Lake Eufaula the second day of the tournament. I exclusively punched and I just, you know, took a palmetto, bu palmetto bugs out of the pack, didn't split the tail and just 
punch with that. The only modification that I did was put a little bit of super glue on the eye of the hook to keep that eye from, from uh, to keep this bait from sliding down the shank of the hook while you're punching. That's very frustrating to have that happen. And just putting a tiny little drop of super glue completely eliminated that issue. Um, but yeah, so I was fishing the palmetto bugs, not really, uh, you know, customized at all uh, in that situation. But a lot of times what I'll do, and usually it's just when I think of it, is to create a little bit more streamline, less bulky bait to get through cover is a lot of times I'll just trim the edges of that, that real bulbous tail that you get with the palmetto bugs. So that's the original, you know, see real wide towards the end. Uh, I'll just go ahead and trim those lobes a little bit and, and make it a little bit more angular, a little bit skinnier of a paddle tail on there. Uh, as you can see, this one's been splitted, but um, that kind of allows this bait to come through cover a little bit easier. And, uh, and so that is one very simple modification, just trimming the edges of those lobes, as I call them. Um, to make them a little bit more compact, streamline, and catch on less grass on the way down. So that's one modification that I do. The other major modification that I, that I like to do nowadays, and this is, I need to give a shout out to my buddy Chris at 44 Tackle. He's the one that actually uh, made me think of this. You know, it, it's funny that I didn't think of this before because I've actually done it with a lot of different baits over the years but I never really did it with the palmetto bugs all that much. But that is to transform a, a bait like the palmetto bugs that has no inherent action, you know, or very little inherent action, I should say, because the bait itself, especially being made of a tech and floating up, you know, when it hits the bottom, um, the tail is always wagging, you know, it's always moving because it's very soft, supple material, and it's very buoyant. So all those things combined make a bait that, even though it doesn't have any paddle tails uh, on it or, or like cut tails, it, it still has a little bit of action. But, you know, compared to other baits that do have those cut tails or paddle tails, it has very limited, more subtle action. But in situations where you want more of a swimming type um, action out of your bait, but you still want to fish a, a palmetto bug style uh, you know, uh, profile, this is a great modification. So essentially what I did here is I split apart the, uh, the, the lobes here and ended up making little cuts, uh, making a little cut tail on the inside of the palmetto bug's tail. And what that does is it really creates a lot of swimming action. So as this bait falls, it does something completely different. It doesn't do that glide like, like I like a, a lot of the time, but it, when it falls, it falls straight down and it, it flutters. So the, those tails are just kicking all the way down. And so it gives it a completely different look and uh, very similar to a lot of the different creature baits that you have out there, but you're still using a palmetto bugs uh, profile, which I really do like it. I think that this imitates crawfish and bluegill really, really well. So that is the, the, the other modification that I actually love to do nowadays. And a lot of times when I'm doing that, uh, I'm going to be, uh, you, you know, using it around, you know, bedding fish and in situations where I want those, those appendages to kind of like kick a little bit as I'm, I'm pulling it through the beds and things like that. So, um, and you know, if I just feel like the fish are a little bit more active, they want something that has a little bit more action. That's when I'll do this modification. Very simple with a, a, uh, you know, sharp pair of scissors, which is actually pretty important. You need sharp pairs of scissors to be able to, uh, modify a last tech. It's just that durable. So, uh, but yeah, that is, that is another way that I modify the palmetto bugs. But other than that, I'd say that, that a unmodified non split tail palmetto bugs right out of the pack is, is what I'm using 90% of the time. But the other 10% of the time I can get some extra bites by making these modifications. Anyways, guys, let me know uh, what you think of these modifications that I do to the palmetto bugs. 
What do you do to, to the palmetto bugs or other baits that you use to make them more effective in different situations? I wanna hear your opinion in the comment below, uh, comment section below. And also, if you wanna support this channel, there's a few ways that you can do it. Number one, you can like, share, and subscribe this content. I just, just gives me a, a, a boost and, and makes me wanna do more uh, content like this. And also, ask questions. I love answering questions in video form. So if you have any questions you want me to answer in a video just like this one, make sure you drop a comment below with your questions. And finally, uh, use the affiliate links in the description below. If you're looking to purchase the products that I talk about, like the Palmetto Bugs, you can not only get 10% off your order, but it helps support the channel by using those links to make your purchases with 44tackle.com. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for all the support. I'm going to see you out on the water.